Yo, yo, bang, bang, who's is the name, Cod is the game, you already know, you dig? Anyways, I'm back ladies and gentlemen, and I was never really gone, uh, I just want to explain the reason being is because Choke Point, if you don't already know, is my competitive team, has been going through some changes as of lately. Currently, we're looking for an anchor, which is going to be your player that's going to get the spawns for you. As well as an objective player to fill the 2013 roster. And in some ways, this has been really stressful for me. It's been putting a lot of weight on my shoulders, so I kind of wanted to make a video to talk about it. And it's actually, it, it's, it's stressful, but it's not. Because the next MOG event has been announced. It's going to be in November, so we got about a five-month period there. And we got about, and it's going to be held in Columbus, Ohio which is cool because I actually have family out there so you know hopefully I'm not going to be paying for that hotel anyways moving on that's a good amount to work with so most people uh, would say there are a lot of free agents out there I kind of wanted to talk about this uh, as of the anchor and the objective player position and yeah there are but me and Sober which is my teammate we're the two people left on the roster right now you know, we've been trying out people, and yeah, there's all these free agents, but there's so much that goes into looking for these teammates to make a successful team, and I just don't think a lot of people realize it, so I just wanted to kind of make this video and kind of explain some things going into the search process for players and what really builds a team and makes a successful team. Anyways, moving on. <clears throat> people always say, oh, this guy can drop all these kills, blah, blah, blah. He always has a good KD. You know what? That's not always the case. Uh, there's things as communication, awareness, teamwork, chemistry, smarts, and playing at a high level as an individual. So I kind of wanted to go through those key points and just explain a little bit like what they do. So starting off with uh, communication, I need a player to be very vocal, you know, there's a lot of players out there that might be good, uh, but they don't speak, they're not vocal, so it's it's not helping the team, team out at all. You know, if I throw a stun and I stun somebody and I get a hit marker, I'm going to call that out. If I see somebody, I'm going to call that out. If I kill somebody, I'm going to call that out. All kinds of things, you just need to do that. Because, you know what, your other teammates on your team don't have eyes on your screen. So, they need to know what's going on in your end of things, and I need to know what's going on in their end of things. Moving on, awareness. This is a big thing in Call of Duty. Self-awareness. You know, if you see someone's foot sticking out, you know what I mean, your reaction time... Uh, you, you hear a stun, you hear somebody talk, you hear footsteps, you know, that's just your, comes along with the awareness. It's, it's very key for a player to have. That, that makes a player there. Going on to teamwork. Teamwork is probably one of the most important things in any competitive game, whether it's, you know, League of Legends, Counter-Strike, Halo. It, it, it's what makes a team. And going into teamwork, it's really, you can have a great, great players, but if you don't have the teamwork, then that team's nothing. A team with maybe less skill could outclass that team any day because of the teamwork. You know, if there's two people on one of your teammates, you need to go help them. It just Our stuff like that identified. really helps the team out a lot. Another thing I mentioned is chemistry. Chemistry, um, it's more so... A time-based thing you can't really just have chemistry off the bat I mean sometimes you can but it, that's more of a, a long-term thing that comes with time and playing with your team and you know just building chemistry maybe on a personal level and a team level also smarts this is one of the biggest things in Call of Duty this makes plays one of the 
biggest things to have smarts in is search and destroy. For, for example, if someone's planning on the other team and you're in a 1v1 situation and you see them, you see them planning, you know what, and you're close to streaks, you should just let them plant and then get the kill instead of getting the kill before the plant gets off. That's smarts right there. If someone has an AR and you have an SMG and they say they have 20, 30 feet on you, and you know you're not going to win that, then don't challenge it. That's smarts. That that can really make a game changer for your team. The last but certainly not the least is the player on the team must have to compete at a high level. You can play teams and crush them, but if you're not playing these top teams, these pro teams, these top amp teams, and you know, you're not beating them or even if you're not playing them, then you're not bettering yourself as a team and as an individual player. So, you know, that that really does come into play. You could have chemistry and communication and all that, which you still need to be able to compete at a high level. But that pretty much wraps up what I'm looking for in the team and as uh, we try people out here for Choke Point 2013 roster. But I also wanted to say that, you know, I haven't been putting videos out. I know, you know, I'm wrong for this. I wanted to put out videos every week. But I've really been busy with this team and I've really been busy with work and tired. But I need to not use that as an excuse. And I really need to manage my time better with the team and work and uh, try to put these videos out accordingly. And I will be, and I've got some really great ideas that are going to be coming out in these videos. So I want to thank you guys and lassies for watching the video. Please like it, subscribe, and don't be afraid to comment. Peace.